All right, I'm gonna see if the the women-led games one is up yet. Is it? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Or? Okay, there we go. Spookums, that stinks! What? You do? My uh, my best friend for one, one of my birthdays gave me like a, a book of most of his, his work. Oh man. I was like, sweet. Do you see the rainbow colors on the explosion? I love that. Dang, that's rough. That is so rough. It kind of does. Oh my god, yeah, like Teen Titans go. Teen Titans go! With their superpowers, they unite. Teen Titans! Let's go! What a way to start, am I right? Rana Boom will knock your socks off every time. Even if you're not wearing socks. Hey y'all, my name is Leanna Rupert, and I am your illustrious host for this evening's Fresh Hibble Chairs. I am very thrilled and very honored to be your guide through today's journey through women-led game studios and game companies as we explore the depths of incredible gaming experiences through this year's edition of Summer Game Fest Woman-Led Game Showcase. Slow clap, slow clap. Before we jump right in, just wanted to take a quick second to say- Is that a that cyberpunk chair? None of this would be possible without the incredible work of two of our sponsors, Strayfon and Disobey both of which we'll be learning a little bit further down in the it. showcase. We have a really exciting showcase for you today, filled with exciting trailers and like the list of deep vibes because we we love a good exclusive. You know, it's 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 a moment. So without further ado and further Leanna ramblings, let's dive in with our first of many adventures, shall we? Imagine you suddenly found yourself transported back into a fictional 1990s Yeah, oh, Stream Lab. You're thrust into a tale or of Seeker ambition, Lab. a struggle, a friendship. Got you interested? Yes. Good. Let's dive in with the first adventure we have up today, Palace on the Hill. Oh, look at pretty... Oh, so the whole game looks like that. Okay. That's art colleges? Oh, really? You know I you know I like the sim type games. A trailer for this before. It was so sick.
It's already on my wish list too. Yep, yep. Yeah, from when they they last announced it. Palace on the hill. Thank you, Snoo Snoo. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Let me move that. Let me move that. <laughs> I'm gonna keep a separate window over there for when I click links. It'll pop up on my other screen. Sorry, guys. Yeah, I want I wanted to check this one out so bad. I really love the art style, like the whole like like super pixely mix. Oh, it's in a new age of vampires. <gasps> Is that Persephone? If that was Persephone, it's more like age of mythology, yes. Build and prosper. Oh my god, I love RTSs. Cit Citadelum is the name of the game. Oh, it's like Civ! A little, a little bit. Wait, so it has RTS elements inside with, with turn base? Is that what? Thanks, BB. That's what it kind of seems like, right? That. I'm gonna have to play that. <laughs> With a demo. I'm gonna have to check that out. The cherry blossoms! Designed by a former chef. Sunnyside's cooking and food crafting systems are far more intricate than what you might be used to. Oh good, does that mean I get to burn food in video games too? Sunnyside uses a batch cooking system. This means that portions are realistic and they are, I love the Pallia too. Freaking Jensen, hi Jensen. By the way, friends, we're posting the uh, links to the games. If if any of them interest you, make sure to wish list uh, from what Snoozu, you were saying this yesterday, the right? Ingredients that you need can that, uh, be found depending on, on wish list or wi wi people adding it to the wish list, they can get funding for their their indie games. They may be items that you purchase, crops that you can grow. They may be harvested from animals. Oh, yes. Who, who said it yesterday? There are even ingredients for cooking that can be created through food crafting. Or even Thanks, prepared snoo, snoo. yourself to then be used in future cooking. I, I see you. Often across multiple appliances. <laughs> Cooking is a labor of love, but it isn't for everyone. If you have the money, you may prefer a hearty meal from a local restaurant. Oh, I love the art. Maybe a quick bite at the convenience store. Look how cute the, the art when they pop up with or the dialogue. Even just a oh, from the vending machine can be enough to hit the spot. But for those who are willing to tackle one of the most complex systems in Sunnyside, what awaits you is a progressive experience full of discovery. Oh, it's a puppy! Can you pet the dog? Can you pet that dog? How cute. Play the Steam demo now. Oh, oh crap. It's above me. The really right there. cool thing about games, and I know I'm not alone in this, is that they are such an incredible medium for being able to fulfill our wildest fantasies and our most ambitious dreams. So while you're busy picturing that, picture this. You're a TV producer, okay? 
Yeah, Big Shot TV producer. And what's your thing you're producing? And scorching hot reality show where you have to find the most crush-worthy cast. Oh, is it that is one I really want to play? They showed on Devolver sure direct yesterday. Line. You have what it takes to keep voracious audiences captivated and you can stay on air while uncovering the most sinister secret behind this darkly comic third person shooter hey oh I'm maybe Pokey, not and i am the creative director of the crush house oh I am okay no yeah with muriel on this project they are a wonderful studio based out of the uk and they have previously worked on the rain series as well as card shark you play as jay who just got hired as the producer of 1999's hottest reality show the crush house you basically have to do everything for the show so there's also you a oh, the cast you film them fighting and kissing you play i tried to applying to see if i could uh, buy props i could get a, a key for that too have to figure out what the audience wants to see and you have to give it to them or else your show gets canceled but you realize that there are some things about the crush house and its cast that are a little bit unusual so during the day you have to maintain your duties to keep the show on air but at nighttime you can start to investigate the mysteries that lie beneath the surface so we just announced the release why that kind of look like five nights this is strong thank you for but a six more reason checking up the game beforehand we I actually just the put out a demo on steam so you could play it right that's now. what that's that's what i was updates, thinking like uh five, five nights at freddy's media and also please oh is this the new chapter of lust academy house is crushing it as the country's number one reality show and things are heating up this week the insatiable fans beloved sponsors and savvy network execs won't believe what's in store for our cast of potential lovers and haters monday sees the tension between priscilla and b finally boil over into an explosive confrontation into a steamy moment by the pool what Tuesday is a bit more chill in the house the let's have them fight and then make out together with a sounds like a, a great great tuesday charlie brings the cast together hey, with that's a true saxophone performance. that's true snoo sometimes it's some of the best wednesday for the real fireworks when charlie and milo beer and alex sneak off for a little moment of self-reflection for a little romantic time in the garden ah yes wild fist fight and by the end of the week crowd favorite emil priscilla finally lets all their love and a little lust run free finally takes matters into their own hands finally goes down the success floor i wonder where the six oh it goes underground i was like i wonder where the success slide goes i see now do not miss this week in the crush house there will never be anything like it ever again i want to play it the truth the truth is an ugly mistress but i ain't no ugly duckling that's why we couldn't keep snoozing. I, I didn't realize you could only I'm snooze up to detective. three times. I'm here to investigate a case. Oh my god, you play as a duck? It's the Salami Bandit. The Salami Bandit? The se duck Detective, the Secret Salami. Why is that amazing? Stealing lunch just goes too far. At least this job should bring in a bit of cash. Was that the voice of McCree, uh, McCassidy? Oh, this, I saw this one, um, at the OTK one. <laughs> McCassidy, that's like, <laughs> it's a mixture. I saw this one at the OTK uh, game thing, and it looks so fun because you can poop on their heads and stuff. Yeah, I'm so I really want to play this one. <laughs> you can use a bat, my babies. Was that Waldo? That was where's Waldo?
you're like a lone enforcer going to lurk and play. As we reach our halfway point. Thanks, Draymok. Have fun wow, on Hogwarts that went Legacy. Really fast. We just wanted to take a quick, quick moment to. I can't wait for that new update. Serious gratitude to two of our sponsors today. First, we have wait, is it out? Fun, an independent studio that we love from Switzerland with a passionate fan dev studio that are experts oh. in the craft of creating procedurally generated worlds and offering a vibrant life to just sync right into is, is still and okay. disobey. An incredible women-led marketing agency that stands out as a pillar in the gaming community because of their amazing focus around authenticity and community building. Uh, Hogwarts Legacy had like a big old update coming up. I, right now I think it, it is out today. You know, kind of on fire. These pillars are just the start of what is that makes this company no. such a unique voice within the current industry landscape. You're definitely gonna want to make sure you. I'm stay super in the loop jealous of her hair, though. Sponsors on socials. I'm not. I'm not super jealous. I love her hair. But <laughs> ongoing now. I'm, je of I'm jealous. She has a blue. Okay, I'm jealous, folks. Let's immerse ourselves. It's so hard to upkeep when you have like uh, different games, colors, especially if you have to bleach it. To, oh, it's so hard. Point and click adventure. Set within a neo noir world. Let's check it out. I'm Eleanor Summers, the co founder of Caligram Studio, and it's my pleasure to present our mystery adventure game, Phoenix Springs. It's oh, a sweet. game that follows a reporter, sweet. Iris, whose investigation leads her to a the update. I had been asking for like one of the features in there since the beginning because I that game is so beautiful it needed a photo mode and they finally did it we always said that phoenix springs shouldn't look like anything yeah else, pocket i've done teal and i've done like purple that combines and and the rose gold and, drawn and those were the so hard to release in september on steam and we can't wait for you to play Hi, it. when i finally find him my brother makes me promise not to go to the oasis so of course it's where i end up oh yeah we saw this yesterday this one looks really cool Espe yeah, especially for dark hair. Now I just dyed black. I'm like, screw it. Also because like my hair got kind of fried the last time I bleached it because I tried to go silver. I went silver and lasted for a week. A week and it started washing out. Apparently silver is like the hardest one to upkeep because you, you, you literally have to like dye it over and over and over to keep it the same color. I know it was a, it was a special level in hell. Oh, do you die? Do you die yours black too, Dream Dreamock? Another night in the city. Ooh. The kind of night where even the dark can't hide the crime. Mind you, that might have something to do with the fact that I've got a cat's eyes. Name's Albert. Albert Wild. I have to play guy. this. Albert Wild Quantum PI. Come to when you need justice in this town. There's nothing like the rush of being on a case. All six of my nipples are tingling. <laughs> At any rate, this case sounded like one of the weird ones. The body, it ain't normal. But then, what is normal in this jungle city of ours? Ads are coming up, guys. Sorry, we've been trying to snooze them, but it looks like we get, we're out of the snooze button. That's so... <laughs> Stay, I'm coming soon. All six of my nipples tingling. Oh, I'm in love with this art. Wait, so is this solitaire with the story? I've never felt so alone in my life. Love it. It kind of does. Telltales, yeah. And wishlisted. Solitaire with a freaking story? Heck yeah. Eso solo puede significar una cosa. Gregorio. 
Ahora sí estás en la boca del lobo. Ve por esa nota. Otros periodistas han abierto paso para ti para que pudieras llegar hasta aquí y ahora. ¡Es tu turno! Sometimes Man, all these Spanish games are making me so excited. After a long day of stresses, am I right? There's no shame. You're safe here. This is a safe place. You're good. So let's de-stress with the exploration of the world of mind-bending gaming experiences with a cozy 3D puzzle experience that will soothe with some unique diorama assembly mechanics all wrapped up in a visually stunning wooden package. You're There's safe here, yeah. There. We're yeah. just gonna roll away fast. I'm creating a cozy game with my friend. In this game, you get to piece together charming little wooden dioramas. It's inspired by the classic childhood puzzles that I love so much. The one that gave me a sense of comfort and kept me engaged for hours in a peaceful state of mind. We want the to reconnect art's with our beautiful. Those days when we'd lie on the floor with a whole day ahead and no rush, no plans, no worries. We're rediscovering that sense of inner peace. Peace. Cute. Buddha. Oh, look how pretty! So you you built dioramas that okay? Okay. I might I might actually play this for like comfort set because like I I sometimes when I'm like editing I want something like really chill I'll watch I'll put up videos of people making uh uh dioramas. I mostly watch the horror ones though. I don't know if you guys have seen like any of the horror dioramas some people can make, but I love watching those. This one might be a bit too peaceful for me, but I think I, I want to check it out anyway. Maybe I need something that's not all like blood and gore, you know? <laughs> this is so pretty! The, the little branch that came in with the, the apples. I'd be so worried of having bugs come in though. Mr. Clean of Detail also has blast marks. Yes. <laughs> I was re-downloading that to play that, but then I ended up on Power Wash Simulator again. Star stuff? This looks cute. So you play as a little star? I don't know why it's making me think of the Super Mario movie. Not, no Siri. No, I wasn't talking to you, Siri. I just found out when you think um, S-I-R-I -I, whenever she helps you out she actually says you're welcome and I was like oh my god now I feel like I have to say thank you every time but I, I verbally abuse her a lot and I feel I feel terrible now that I know that she actually responds to that no Oh, they got the audio to play. Watch it play anyway. <laughs> she can't hear me, okay? She can't hear the headphones. Stu, Stu. Day. That's a secret. Day. Have you ever looked forward to opening your eyes? Have you ever looked forward to the thing you've been chasing, only to find it right in front of you? You see, everything shines. Everything. When you gaze at the stars, the stars also gaze at you. They do not fade away just because you close your eyes.
the star named A. Game has demo on Steam. Oh my god. Uh, to which list? Yep, uh, your, your fishing will pop up in the chat, but I don't have it pop up on the screen for now. We'll add it back uh, once the we're, we're done watching all this stuff. Oh, oh, I, oh, that's what you meant. Oh, it's because uh, um, when, you, when you give babies, it'll automatically start fishing for you. That's my bad. This looks so cute. Why did those houses look like the forest spirits from Princess Mononoke? We're here, we're at the final stretch with our closing lineup of games. What? And we are going out with a bang. Is that an excuse to use finger guns? You bet your sweet butt it is. We're going out with a bang, folks. Get ready I have finger for guns still going behind me too. with games that pack a punch and ooze larger than life personality. <gasps> I knew I s with she has a lancer right X here Zero. from Gears. A gaming experience where you will be challenged to command two legendary heroes and a Dovahkiin helmet. Oh my god! Abilities destined to clash in an epic, epic showdown and because of that heart pumping puzzle action and the fact that cardio is apparently good for you let's get that adrenaline pumping with a closer look at what abyss x zero has to offer hello my name is tiani pixel and i'm fernando diaz we're a studio pixel pack a two-person indie team from brazil we're currently working on our next game abyss cross zero abyss cross zero from brazil is a stylish 3d metroidvania i know it's so stacked any team can explore an expensive world with carefully crafted dungeons and stylish combats you need to take control of two different characters fated to battle each other both legendary heroes with unique abilities that change how you fight and interact with the environment. The game is heavily inspired by early 3D games from the PlayStation 1 and Nintendo 64, games like Mega Man Legends and The Legend of Zelda. Abyss Cry Zero is coming to PC and we hope to bring it to as many platforms as possible. We hope you enjoy it. Please wishlist it. That was cool. I know some of the earlier ones I couldn't find on Steam either. I was like, dang it! Oh, oh no! <laughs> Excellent. That one, the some eclipse something. I couldn't find that either. It had a whole name before it too, but I was like, I can't find it. Old school Tomb Raider. Yeah, yeah, the, I could. Oh wait, it looks like on on uh, Steam they have like a a link to the women led games games. Hides haunt and seek. There we go. There we go. That was one of the ones I wanted. Um, I'm trying to see if I could see the other ones. Zelda.
Oh, thanks, new stew. I didn't realize mine, uh, but mine popped off. Thank you. Brave enough to enter. Come join our game of goose. Once you step inside, more Thaddeus I know I can tell you. This is very reminiscent to Haunted Mansion. To seek those ghosts with ease. Then blast them with your spectral beam to absorb their energy. I love this. ride where they grim greedy ghosts come out to socialize mac and cheese games let's go oh is that why does this make me kind of think of rampage there's a game like this too though right uh what's it called like car carrion was it carrion that you eat things to get more powerful oh look how pretty we are maria kune and kirill and we're making urban jungle a small game where you decorate tiny houses and apartments with plants. Yes! Coming from a small town with nine months of winter, we find joy in filling our homes with greenery. Yes! If we wanted to share this experience in a game where plants don't need watering, they cannot die, and you just need to find them a perfect spot and get even more plants. Yes! Also, you can tidy up the rooms to get to know our characters, clear space for plants, and unlock new ones for completing tasks. And yes, you can pet the ah! little mister and follow the stories that will take place in different houses, apartments, and even countries. This this seems so cozy. Oh, I want this. Head of jungle to your wish list. I want this. The demo is out now on Steam and the full game comes in 2024. And with that, we conclude another epic year of the women-led game showcase. Let's go! by the trust that the people that allowed us to feature their incredible work placed in us to show their passion projects and what they're working so hard on to share with you. And we're thrilled to continue bringing you more throughout the year. And we also just one more time wanted to offer our sincerest thank you to our sponsors, Strayfon and Disobey for their incredible support to make this year happen. Being a part of this year's Summer Game Fest is a significant milestone for the women-led gaming community. It really is. And because of that, we want to also take a moment to give our sincerest thanks to, to Jeff Keeley, Emily Bouchock, and the Game Awards Future Class for amplifying the voices of women-led communities. Also, before you leave, don't forget to check out our Steam sale, okay? You got from now until June 15th, and we're gonna go ahead and say that again, now till June 15th, because we, we're gamers. We wait until the last minute, and we really can't be doing that, okay? You need to go to the Steam sale, you need to check out some awesome demos, you need to save yourself some money, and you need to be adding things to that wish list, okay? Because that helps indies, and that helps support the health and the integrity of the gaming community and gaming industry as a whole. So you need to just go and mosey on over there. Not yet, we're not done here. But once we're done, then you're gonna wanna mosey on over to the Steam sale. And you're gonna wanna check out those demos that are live now for not only the games we feature today, but so many others that are just waiting for you to explore them. So make sure you check out those demos, have a good time, support the teams, and don't forget 
you're supposed to be adding to those wish lists. Once again, I'm Leanna Rupert, and it has been a genuine pleasure hosting you for this year's Women-Led Games Showcase. Until next time, once again, thank you so much for joining us. And don't forget, follow us on socials. Be a part of the conversation. We love to hear your thoughts. We want to share in your victories. We want to share in your gaming experiences. And we want to just be closer as a community as a whole. That being said, we look very much forward to seeing you at next year's Summer Game Fest and the Women-Led Games Showcase. Until next time, happy gaming, friends. I love that! That was a good one! That's some good games on there!